So question number 79 from booklet A, uh, the question is a function is given from C to C that is entire, uh, this f is u plus i v and uh, u is real part of f and v is imaginary part of f. Then what he is asking ki f is constant if which of the following condition is satisfied, okay. means. If one is old, then kya ye constant hoga, second is old, then kya hoga, and third and fourth, okay. Now, actually, uh, this question is a, a simple application of Lively theorem. What is Lively theorem? Means if a function from C to C that is entire and function is bounded, then it is constant. Actually, uh, we have uh, some conclusions from uh, Lively theorem, what they are first one is if uh, real part of this function, function is entire and real part of this function is uh, bounded then function is constant. Uh, we can see it uh, like suppose uh, uh, what we have in first key uh, real part of function is bounded, it means u is bounded, it means mod u is some less or equals to k, okay. Now to show Ki if this holds then is f is constant or not, first we define a function gz of the form e to the power fz, okay. What is f fz? Uh, it is u plus iv. Now take mod of gz, what it will be e to the power u into e to the power iv. Uh, this will equal to e to the power u into e to the power i into v. Now this modulus is 1, so it will be e to the power u, okay. Means mod of gz is equals to mod of this. Now u is less or equals to some k, so this will be less or equals to e to the power k, fine. Means what this function fz is entire, it means e to the power fz entire function g is entire and function g is bounded. So by Lively theorem, this function g is constant. So g is what? g is, is some constant that c. So function g is constant, it means e to the power fz is constant. So this implies fz is constant, okay. Similarly, uh, in option 2, what we take? Uh, just a uh, same uh, similar process, same just proceed in similar way uh, what they have given v is bounded. So just to define in option 2 gz is equals to e to the power i fz, okay. Now what it will be e to the power uh, minus v plus i u, okay. And the same this take modulus from both side, v is bounded, then g is bounded, also it is entire. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, from Lively theorem, uh, g is entire bounded, so it is constant. So, function is constant. Now, uh, in third part, uh, what they had given? u plus v is bounded. Uh, for a third option, just define a function, gz is equals to 1 minus i fz, okay. So what is 1 minus i u plus iv, huh? now this is uh, what u plus v plus i times i times minus u plus v, huh? fine. Now what they had given the function gz, this is, this is bounded, okay, this function is bounded gz is 1 minus i fz means uh, some constant multiple of this function, okay. Function is this f is entire, some constant multiple of this function, this function is also entire. This function is entire and real part of g is what? u plus iv, u plus v, okay. Real part of g is bounded and what we had proved in first, in first option ki if a function is entire and its real part is bounded, then function is constant. It means g is constant, g is some constant c, 
then F Z is equals to uh, C upon one minus I. It means F is constant. Fine. Uh, now in fourth option, what they had given, U square plus V square is constant, is bounded. Okay. अगर हम u square plus v square को ध्यान से देखें तो ये क्या है mod of f z square या this is u square plus v square because mod of f z is square root of u square plus v square and this is bounded it means modulus of the function is bounded and again by Lavalley if modulus of function is bounded then uh, f is constant. So it means in this question option 1, 2 and 3, 4 all are correct. That's it.